31 weeks and six days. I was at a doctor's appointment and they were like, actually you're gonna go downstairs and hang out in the antepartum until Lainey comes and we're gonna try to keep her in for as long as we can. That point where you realize, yep, we're gonna have a baby that comes early, now it's just a waiting game. It was scary, it's, it's just the unknown. It's not what you planned, it's not what you thought, it's not what you dreamed about for your first birth. central line um, is a type of IV catheter, um, but rather than just um, being a small catheter that sits in the hand or the foot, um, it's a longer, more permanent catheter that sits in a bigger blood vessel closer to the heart. Central lines are used in a variety of um, patient populations in the hospital, but many of our very low birth weight infants especially require a central line for a good portion of their time in the NICU. One of the nurses just called and said, we're gonna put a pick line in, here's the risks, here's the reason why we would. I felt like we were both in really good care. A CLEPSI is an acronym for a central line associated bloodstream infection. In 2016, we had a spike. We actually had three infants in our NICU uh, that had CLEPSIs. So our goal is to stay ahead of the curve. We want zero collapses. Um, we think it's not a complication that we're willing to accept. Um, and so our goal is to eliminate it. So we put together a CLABSI initiative. We started a work group that looked into every aspect of our care with central lines, from the insertion of the central line to maintenance of the central line. By starting this initiative, we have decreased the rates of our line infections to zero, um, which has decreased the risk for the majority of the infants here in our NICU. So that first hour of care after they're born is really important, which means two nurses for the first two hours for all very low birth weight infants. Regardless of what other places were doing and what nationally should be done, we just knew that we needed to do better for our patients. You know, we have a, a pretty strong connection with all these families, and so when we're seeing that they have an infection, it just breaks our heart and we wanted to do different. They have faith in us that their baby's gonna get better. We don't wanna put any more worry on them, and we wanna make sure that that trust stays and that they don't walk out of here thinking that their infant isn't safe or isn't being well taken care of. My goal is to know that they have the best people taking care of them and we're gonna provide the best care. Well, I don't want them to come here to worry about anything but getting better. It's been a long journey, but one of the pieces of comfort that we have found is the team here really takes care of our daughter like an extension of family. The day we get to take Lainey home, hopefully is soon, we're pretty excited. Our hearts are pretty ready.